I want to bring in onto our coverage uh, this evening Bharti Chaturvedi. She's a well known environmentalist. She's also founder and director of uh, Chintan Environment Research and Action Group. Bharti, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you know, on this, on this important story, I know you, uh, you, know, you, you track such things very, very closely and you care very deeply for the environment. You know, these pictures rarely make headlines, don't they? I mean, it's only when the visual is so arresting, so disturbing, that it actually comes out into the media. And I have to say that I felt very compelled to try and tell this story because here you've got a situation where 500 pilot whales, you know, get stranded on just one or two beaches very close together on a remote island. You know, th there's no pollution there of any kind. There's no human activity there. They just beach over there and they all die. Bharti, many different theories have been put forward by ecologists over the years. What is your understanding of this? So I have, um, I always hesitate to give an understanding. Uh, just like I initially hesitated when hundreds of migratory birds died yeah. in Iraq. On Sambar Lake, I like to I like to do, do two things. I like to wait for the specific incident, and there's a reason why. The reason is that we have we're living in a very very disrupted, disturbed, uh, tragic era. So scientists often are able to pinpoint things after they happen, and I like to hear from the top scientists working on it rather than you know jumping in. For example, we found that in the Sambar uh, Lake tragedy, basically illegal salt mining was electro electrocuting the birds. There was no virus. But similarly, uh, let's wait for the science here. What I do want to say is that this is the most visible part of a much larger tragedy of the death of our oceans. The death of our oceans basically means the end of us. And yeah. I think we take it really seriously. This is a huge tragedy. And that's why we've noticed it. But you know, if you look at other places that you wouldn't even imagine, for example, the, the Pacific Ocean near Canada, where certain kinds, specific kinds of orca whales are starving. They've been found to starve to death. And for what? Because they only eat Chinook uh, salmon. But the Chinook salmon is dying out um, due to various factors, possibly also climate change. So uh, we've seen absolutely starved whales there. Mm. I think that those are the kinds of symptoms that are telling us that the largest and the most spectacular life is dying and it should worry because, uh, I mean, we could be next, of course. Very true. And, you know, one of the, one of the confusing things, you know, you're right, the, you know, the death of our oceans is, you know, in my view as well, and I hate jumping to conclusions as well, just like you, Bharti, uh, you know, appears to be, uh, you know, uh, at least one of the chief, uh, you know, causative things, you know, when you see something like this. What is confusing and perplexing, Bharti, is that these mass beachings of whales have been, apparently, I was just doing some reading before this show, they've been taking place for centuries together. Apparently, you know, even in the, in the 19th century, in the 18th century, there are recorded versions of such, you know, mass strandings of whales. Uh, uh, of course, you know, of course, you know, a human, a human impact on the oceans is not something new. It's been happening for a very, very long time. But, you know, one is wondering whether, you know, there is more to this. And you're right when you say that, you know, we should wait for scientists to look at the, the specific instances of each instance. But, you know, there is so much similarity to all these trendings, like the one that happened in Tamil Nadu, the one that happened in Australia a few weeks ago, and this one. And you know, what we should, what we should uh, keep in mind is that there's one thing like you and I are talking about waiting for the verdict of science. Yeah. But there's a thing about joining the, big do the dots and looking at the big picture. And I think, for example, um, there might be one case here and a reason here and a very different one, say with the Chinook salmon and the starvation and some third case. What we need to really remember, what we need to note and... I mean, I think what we, what we should really recall is the oceans themselves are changing, right? Now, these oceans are no longer the oceans of 100 years ago because they used to be carbon sinks, but now they're warming up. Corals are bleaching. Microplastics are killing them. All of this is happening, and those oceans are turning into, into chemical, heated chemical soups. So we need to know and we need to ask those questions, and that is something that... 
we who are not actually scientists looking at this particular incident should be able to red flag that these are serious things happening and they might have a role or they might have helped precipitate something like this because yeah. even a small change in the ecosystem these are niche animals you know even a small um, uh, change in the ecosystem can completely devastate their ability to for example navigate now yeah. when such large uh, creatures are uh, stranded you would the first thing i would say is that they obviously going somewhere together uh, and that's one place they might have been going and this is a guess um and it's purely a conjecture is perhaps they were migrating we know whales migrate in the oceans and so maybe they were migrating this is perfectly a valid season to do that so perhaps something went wrong perhaps their sonar systems got disrupted we don't yeah. understand that that could be jolly well one reason and now you can't rescue them because there's so many sharks around so um that could jolly well be a disruption of migration which is something that is not only happening in the seas but it's also happening in the skies with our yeah. overlit cities looking at millions of birds and uh, you know uh, cma and all kinds of other organizations have been talking about it millions of birds just getting completely disoriented from light now for one there's light in the in the air but there could be other things in the oceans and we need to remove uh, remove and let our oceans be alone and kind of try to nurture them back as fast as possible human action the changing climate climate change the oceans all of these are factors and we still don't have a specific answer let's hope we learn more 500 of these beautiful creatures have died let's hope we can understand more about uh, this kind of thing because there will be more that's the one thing we can all be sure of bharti chaturvedi i appreciate your time thank you very much for helping us understand these very distressing images from our natural world beautiful pilot whales 500 of them their corpses covering an entire remote beach in the south pacific images that have shocked me shocked our viewers shocked people all across the world we'll keep a track of that story and try and get you more about that